Welcome Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are or a new or returning subscriber, I really appreciate all the likes, comments, shares, etc. It's great to get your feedback also. So thanks again for dropping by. If you'd like a private reading, please feel free to contact me on the email listed below this video. Otherwise, we'll get straight into it, Cancer, and we'll see what's happening for you. Okay, so we have the Justice card. Nine of Wands, the World. The King of Cups, Judgment, okay, and the Two of Wands. So first from the top left, we have the Justice card. So you might be dealing with the Libra at work and or love. I feel as though this is a karmic card, a lot of energy coming to you that you're entitled to. Maybe you've been waiting on a legal case, a court, a divorce, a settlement of some kind, asking for funds. And I'm here to tell you that... The scales will be tipped in your favor. So there's a lot of equality and balance and justice here. So this is um, quite an authority figure that's coming to you with the justice card. And you also have the judgment. So if you don't have an existing court case of some kind, I feel as though you might have an encounter with the law this month. It could be regards to a speeding ticket. It could be you might be held up at immigration for a little bit if you're traveling, which I see with the world card and the judgment here also. But I feel as though you'll have encounters with authority figures. Now... Maybe you're single and you encounter someone and they're a Libra or they work in the legal system. You know, maybe they're a police officer. Maybe they're in the judicial system, in legislation or anything. Um, someone that could be working for the government also or the council of some kind. It could be under an air sign. It could be under uh, the sign of Libra also. Uh, Libra also sorry. A Gemini or, um, and or Aquarius. And I feel as though this person is a karmic person. This person is coming to you for a reason here. You've attracted this person in some way, shape or form. And I feel as though you could be very defensive towards this person when they first come to you and encounter you in your life. Now, if you're already in an existing relationship, then I feel there's a lot of fairness and equality that's coming to the relationship. Maybe you previously haven't experienced that um, within the dynamic of your partnership. And maybe this is the month where you'll start to see that will change. There's a lot of fairness and it could be maybe if you're separated and you're dealing with a divorce case or settlement of some kind, then I feel as though you'll be delivered the goods because you do have justice and judgment. And I haven't seen these two cards paired up together for quite some time in the same spread. So there's an outcome that will be delivered to you and I feel as though you'll be very happy with it. At first, I feel there's reservations and hesitations as indicated here with the Nine of Wands. But for the most part, I feel as though fairness is coming to you and you've got this beautiful angel here and I feel that they're putting blessings on your family if you have children, stepchildren or other people or parties that are involved in a court case maybe or a separation, a legal separation of some kind, a custody battle. I feel as though you'll be very pleased with the news but you might be hesitated, um, hesitating in some way, shape or form at first. Now, as we can see, we have the Nine of Wands and he's peering almost defensively um, you know, despairing over here, looking over to the justice card. So I feel as though you're in defense mode. It could be within this court case. You could find out that your partner has a court case coming up or they've been in trouble with the law. And you'll feel really, you know, you'll have your guard up. You'll get really offended in some way. Or you'll be defending yourself in some way. So again, this could be you that gets in trouble. Maybe you've been... Uh, not intentionally doing anything illegal or you might get held up or there could be some sort of mistake or maybe you have been doing something that is a bit naughty and this might be the time where you get pulled up on it and it could be to do with traveling so you might be pulled up maybe you're carrying an excess amount of money on board or something like that but I feel as though you're defending yourself over some sort of legal proceeding maybe you're speeding and you try and talk your way out of a speeding ticket here also now, in a relationship, I feel as though you'll be in defense mode about something. So it could be that you'll, you'll find out that your partner is, um, you know, is in trouble with the law or they have a settlement of some kind and, you know, they didn't get the result they wanted and they're still working on it. This could also be your, um, raising your defenses because you might want to go overseas. You might want to apply for a job overseas in the government, in the judicial system, and you might have people or family that aren't necessarily approving of this. And you're weighing up your options here with the two of wands. So there's there could be two decisions to make or you could be offered an ultimatum of some kind. Now moving on, you have the world card. And the world card is a beautiful card of completion, travel, positivity, possibility, manifestation, the world, cultures. So this could be a month where you're planning travels or will travel. Doesn't necessarily have to be to foreign shores. It could be to a different city, state or suburb even. 
but I do feel as though you might have two options to travel. It could be for work and or leisure. It could be that you're um, deciding between two different locations. It could be that this sort of, uh, you'll be awaiting for a green card or an ESTAR. So for example, if you're going over to the US, you could be waiting for that to, um, to uh, be received and then you will, be, you will be able to travel and you'll get the green light. Also, I feel as though you could hear news of a case that might be happening overseas. I mean, maybe you're waiting for a property that's um, still being, you know, uh, assessed overseas. You know, maybe someone has passed and you're waiting for a property or the deed to a home or a car or money, funds and inheritance of some kind. I feel as though you'll hear news of it this month and you might it might have to involve you traveling to the location. But you do have a beautiful angel here with the judgment card. So this... I sort of have this just really uh, a, a sense of relief about this case and this is completion so things are in motion it's almost like the wheel of fortune I mean here you are you've got a wreath of victory around you you're happy despite this reservation here with the nine of wands maybe this could be the person that's uh, representing you you might be a bit cautious about if they're the right person for you that's how I feel so just I, I'm inclined to say you need to give them more of a chance before you go ahead but you will have internal reservations maybe you've been previously disappointed I mean here you are a bit bandaged maybe you've been previously disappointed with the outcomes before with this person or you know you've been involved in cases like this before and you're just not sure how it's gonna proceed from here but I feel as though this could be a union of some sort with the world. And this is contracts. The justice and the judgment card are contracts. So maybe you're, this is in a work situation and you're applying for contracts to start a new business. Uh, maybe you've got new employees working for you. Or maybe you're starting to work for someone else and you're receiving contracts. And there will be a very fair contract with uh, the, a satisfactory amount of remuneration and or opportunity and tools of trade, etc. Now... What else do we see with the world card? I really feel like it's traveling and you've got a couple of options. You might be tied down. You might not be able to travel right away. You might have to wait for something. As I said, it could be an Esther. It could be for your workplace or your superior to give you the go ahead to travel. Or it could be that this impeding law case or this judgment or this green card, whatever you're waiting on, could see you being quite emotional here. You do have the king of cups. And you're quite emotional about something. There's a lot of things happening around you. Maybe this is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you're dealing with. I feel as though they'll be very emotional. But there's karmic energy coming to you. So let them feel what they have to feel with whatever they're going through. I feel like you'll sit, you're will sit. you sitting pretty. So you'll, you'll be almost unfazed by what's going on about you. What's going on in your relationship. Or, you know, if it's bringing you down in some way, I feel as though you'll have other things to concentrate on. Most definitely. And again, we have the judgment card, so it almost feels like karma or this case that you may be going through. I feel as though the angel is here, so if you want, you believe in angel blessings or God or angels or the universe or just a higher power other than us, then I feel as though this is at stake, this is at force here. You will start to see this. Most definitely. A judgment is being made. So either someone is considering if they're willing to date you and have a long-term relationship with you. Judgment is being made about you, about your work, about what you're doing, what you're doing, if it's fair in a business. This could be maybe you have a business and someone writes a customer or a client review and you're not overly happy about it here. You're defensive about it. This could be in the form of in a relationship, you might feel very judged or you might be doing the judging. Again, I feel it's to do with some sort of foreign connection or an opportunity. So you might be presented with two opportunities this month. You'll be juggling things. But this is planning to travel. You've got the world in your hands here. And this is beautiful. There's some sort of international opportunity for you that you'd be silly not to take. That's how I feel. It could be that you receive a contract to go overseas and work. Or maybe you're researching these things. But there's a lot of emotion. There's some sort of sentiment attached. Maybe you're traveling for a different reason. Maybe it's to see family. To help um, account for a will that you're going through at this point in time. And, you know, you're defensive over it because it was someone very dear to you. That now you feel justice needs to be served to them. So you're really adamant that you'll, you know, I mean, here you are looking back with the world card at the justice. You're really adamant that justice, you're entitled to justice. 
justice is deserved in this case and you will get it you've got angel blessings around you here with the judgment card so that's really positive but maybe you are waiting to get time off maybe you are waiting to receive funds with the judgment of the justice card and also with the two of ones it could be that you might have a couple of fire signs that are interested in you but i feel as though you'll have your walls up towards this fire sign or a water sign could be a libra and i feel you're in defense mode it could be that they judge you and you feel really judged and you open up to them and say this is not going on i'm not tolerating this it could be that you decide to go overseas for your own sake and you know they're not happy about it and you feel really judged maybe you're you're leaving someone behind and you're sorting out you're splitting out you know the money the furniture and this is something that was what quite rough for you maybe in a way see how you're bit battered and bruised here could be with a fire sign that left you somewhat battered and bruised from a relationship or maybe it is time and you decide well what is it that I really want to do is it fair that I go and travel on my own or is that what I'm deserving of you I mean there's a lot of things happening around you there's karma around you there's judgments whether from people or within yourself and you do have the world you've got the world in front of you and you're thinking about it you're tossing up your options here so something big is brewing, most definitely. An outcome will be served. Justice will be served. This is where you really decide, what is it that I want to do? Will I go ahead? Will I be in defense mode? Will I proceed with this person, with this law case? And I, I feel as though you've got the world coming to you. So there's a foreign connection with the government, with law. Again, it could be that you're just in trouble with the law. You might get pulled up for a speeding ticket of some kind. You know, you get in trouble in that aspect. You have the Priestess of Purity, which is really positive. The dates that resonate with her, October 28th to November 24th. And this is being pure of something. So this ties in with these two corresponding cards, the Justice and the Judgment. So Purity is coming to you. You're innocent in a situation or someone around you is innocent in a situation. They're pure. They're pure of something. Maybe you, you know, you've had charges against you and... You're defensive over them, but they get acquitted and you, you're successful in this case. There's purity here. And purity comes with being honest, being truthful. You know, there's innocence here. So you could be very innocent in a situation. Oh, wow. Look at that. So you have innocence, just as I was saying. So you've got purity and innocence. I feel as though a court case could be coming up for you. Because you've got justice, judgment, purity, and innocence. And this is wills, court cases, litigation, green cards, anything to do with the government or consulting the legal system of some kind. And you have innocence about you. Maybe you're representing someone that's innocent. Maybe you're a lawyer, you're in litigation or conveyancing, and you're representing someone. Maybe you're in family law. But you have innocence. Someone's innocent in a situation here. I mean, the walls are up, defense mode is on. But innocent can also be con uh, construed as in you're innocent of something. So you haven't experienced something. Maybe it's travel. You haven't experienced travel. You haven't experienced, you know, working in the government industry. You haven't experienced being with this new person, whether it's a Libra or a fire sign. Or you've, you're deprived of something. So with the innocence priestess, I really feel like there's new experiences coming for you. That's how I feel. And you might have your walls up because you're not used to these sort of things. But they're coming for you most definitely. Now, I hope this has been insightful. Please feel free to contact me if you are after a private reading. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy it. And